Yo, what's up, y'all? So, for today's video, I'm gonna be going over five tips for reading people. So, reading is like a very popular thing that a lot of players like to do. Like, no matter what weapon or character that they play, they always want to kind of have like a read heavy play style. They want to hit all like the cool combos and stuff. So, I'm about to show you guys how it actually works and that it's not just kind of going for cool clips. It's just like, it's like a lot more depth to it. So, I'm gonna be using Wuxiang, I guess, as an example. All right, so the first tip that I have for reading people is reading based off the player's play style rather than just like individual scenarios that have happened. So what I mean by that is, first of all, you have to like determine what play style your opponent even is. So if you notice that your opponent is like really aggressive on the ground, always attacking, they're probably gonna start dodging again. They're probably gonna do wake ups. So instead of going through everything individually, you wanna kind of generalize a specific play style. So what I think personally is people who dodge in also tend to like to be on the ground a lot so people who dodge in usually they also dodge down too and they also like attack a lot more than often so like when they lose neutral a bunch of times in a row they'll get mad they'll start attacking you doing wake-ups like gc wake-ups so when i'm fighting people who are aggressive i'm looking out for that specific thing so i'm looking out for all three of those things so what a lot of players do is they'll hit something like a spear satellite or something right so people will hit the spear satellite and be like okay he's dodging in and then like they hit them with the end light and then they, they do like a wake up off the end light and like they didn't expect it because they're reading off of specific things. But for me, when I see a dodge in, instead of like, oh, he just dodges in, I'm thinking like, oh, he's getting aggressive or he wants to get back to center stage. It's one of the two. He's either like angry and like aggressive and like wants to fight back or he does not want to go off stage. One of the two. And you can use that information to come to different conclusions about anything. Like if I were to hit him with a spear end light. If, I, if I'm under the assumption that he wants to get back to stage, he might dodge off of that too. Or if he's angry, I can be under the assumption that if I hit him with a spear down there, he's gonna do like a wake up and I can kind of go and read it. So reading based off of the actual play style of the player rather than like individual things that you see within a game is very important. Just because no one can actually read everything, you know? Like no, no pro in this game just reads every specific dodge off of every attack. They just kind of generalize it. They're like, okay, he's scared of me. He's probably going to dodge away off of like most of my attacks. Maybe dodge up. It's like whatever the safe option is. And then also like another piece of advice is learn what the safe dodges are off of your attacks. So a good example for this is like gauntlet sidelight. A safe dodge, I would say off of gauntlet sidelight is up. Y you have to understand what people want to do when they're scared. So like Anyone who doesn't want to get killed by Gauntlet is going to dodge up off of the satellite because they just want to get like out of there like as soon as possible. So that's dodging up is like usually the safest dodge off of like most weapons. So you have to understand like the safest option and like how to actually punish that. So being able to understand like when they're scared and where they would be if they were scared. Now for the second tip, opt for more coverage when you're reading people over hard reads and like hard punishes. So what I mean by that is let's say you want us to read the bot dodging right or dodging away. Instead of going for like the whole dash D-Light read, right? I would go for something a little bit more safer. So I would satellite and do like reverse snare because it covers more dodges. You want to opt for things that cover more area rather than things that only cover that specific dodge. It might look cooler to go for a dash D-Light, but it's much easier, much more consistent if you're able to do this. Because if he doesn't dodge away, he could dodge away and down or he could spot dodge you can catch it you can dodge like up and away you can catch it so opting for coverage is way more important than hard reading it's all about just getting consistent damage build up in like the safest way possible you can basically apply it to like almost any weapon even scythe you can apply that to scythe because a lot of people want to only do like reverse down air reads you can do a lot more than that so for this next tip i'm going to be playing lucian just to show it on katars so the next tip is reacting over reading most players in this game they don't actually like read. They're not, they don't hit a attack and instantly be like, he's gonna do this. Let me instantly like do it frame one. What they'll do is they'll hit somebody and they'll jump fast fall and see where they go like that. And then they punish it. I didn't react to that dodge away. Like, look, I can put this on random, right? And light, jump fast fall. See, I didn't know he was gonna dodge in. I just reacted to it. I jumped fast fall and I reacted to it. See, like, I didn't know he's gonna dodge down, but I jumped fast fall. Empty hopping after you hit a attack or a combo starter is very important. I didn't know he was going to dodge down either. But if this was a real game, I probably still would have caught the punish just because I did it fast enough. You want to play more reactive. A lot of players have a problem where they hit a attack and instantly go for a read. They're like mashing and mashing, trying to go for like a cool read. You can hit somebody, wait for like half a second, see where they go, then hit them again, then wait for another half a second. And during that half a second, you could dash cancel, you could jump fast fall, or you could just stand still. Like a lot of players on guitars will go like, 
satellite delight stand still and see what they do like that. So yeah, just make sure to react and not attack instantly to put yourself in a better situation where you could read more things at once. All right, so for the fourth tip, it's about reading mix-ups. So like how, how I was saying before with reading the safe dodges, you have to understand that your opponent's not gonna do the same thing every time. So let's say you're playing a spirit character, right? So let me find a spirit character, Mirage. You're playing a spirit character, right? And your opponent just keeps dodging in. You're just constantly reading this dodge in, right? Eventually your your opponent is gonna just like get completely sick of even like getting hit by anything near that. So instead of dodging in, they're probably gonna start dodging away or maybe up, like somewhere where they cannot even get possibly get hit by a dodge in read, which is usually the opposite. So like your opponent will probably start to dodge away now. It's very important to know when you're fighting somebody because there's small instances where you could tell when your opponent has adapted. One thing that I'd like to look out for is when they start to slow down their tempo. So let's say you keep reading somebody like coming in with the same attack, right? The minute they back up and slow down and they kind of like slow down a little bit, you could tell that they're ready for something else. They're adapting, like they, they realize what they're doing. Like you can kind of see their thought process and their movement. You could see like, okay, he stopped for a second and he's taking the time to think. And that's when you go for like the other read that you condition them to do. And this can go with anything. This can go with like any read that you're trying to do, right? Like however you're playing. So yeah, like being able to recognize when your opponent adapts and like what they're going to do as an adaptation is very important. It's not always going to be the exact opposite, but it's just going to be like usually one of those safe dodges that I was talking about or the opposite. And now the fifth thing is reading no dodges. So this works for weapons like gauntlets, katar, spear, any weapon where it's like you have good strings to kill that aren't true. So one thing about a lot of players is that when they're very pressured, they're so scared to get their dodge read that they just don't dodge at all. So like, let's say you're core, right? And you're fighting a, a Braza player and he's at red. And if he gets hit by anything, he's going to die, right? If you hit this gauntlet highlight, the Braza might not dodge. So like, let me turn the dodge off. A lot of players, like, especially like someone like Cody Travis or something like anyone, most players won't dodge in this situation because they're so scared of getting their dodge read that they just press nothing. They'll either do a wake up attack or just not even move at all and just kind of play evasively. And being able to recognize when they're that scared and just going for the combo is very important. I get so many kills on Spear by just going for the full Salad Delight recovery because they don't dodge the Delight because they don't want to get hit by dodge in or dodge down read. So they just pick nothing at all, hoping that I miss so they can punish me. And I, it's hard to catch. I know like when I was um like a, a newer competitor when I first went pro, a lot of people would stop dodging and I was like, what do I do? Like, they're not really doing anything. And I was like, I was confused because I couldn't really like tell what they were doing. I couldn't tell if I was just missing the read or what, because when you're playing fast pace, it's hard to tell if somebody's dodging or not. But looking out for people not doing anything or not picking an option is like one of the hardest things when you're fighting somebody. So reading people not picking an option is very important. So when it comes to killing and confirming kills. But yeah, those are my five tips. That's all I could come up with basically. If you like the video, please like it. Put in the comments any video ideas you want me to do for the next video. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.